This challenge is about error management in JavaScript, and we're going to deal with try catch blocks and also finally, although this finally part may be optional. So here, what they want us to do is get a string called s. The name of the function for this challenge is reverse string. So they want us to write two print statements using console log. So here we need to complete the function. And the first thing that we have to do is reverse the string using the splits reverse and join methods. I believe I have some short videos on that on my channel. And then the second thing is to throw an exception if something fails during this first operation. Once we throw an error, we need to catch it and then print the contents of that exception via a property called message. And we need to print that on a new line. Then we need to print the reversed string on a new line if there was no exception. Now the specify here, in case there is an exception, we need to print the original string, not the reversed one. So this here in the text editor could be the solution. I have the try keyword here. So we're going to try to execute this first. And if there is an error anywhere between these three lines of code, then we're going to catch that error. That is the E argument that you see here. We're going to catch that. And then we're going to call the message property on that error. And we're going to print it to the console. And then we're simply going to print S directly. So this will print the original string. So we know what happens if we get an exception, but what are we supposed to do in the first place? We need to try and split the string first. So this here is going to split the string character by character, because inside of this argument here, we don't have any space. We basically have like an empty character, meaning that we're going to split the characters into unique elements inside of an array. Now that we have an array of characters, we can call the reverse method in JavaScript and this is going to perform an in-place reversal of elements inside of that string. So we're going to get our initial array here, this from the split string in reversed order. And finally, we can log that to the console, but we need to join it first to reformat it into a string. So I'm calling this split string here, which is this one here. And this here is the reversed array because like I said, this is an in-place modification. It actually modifies the original array. So we don't need to store the results in any special variable. We can simply call it as is. So now that we have the reverse string, we simply call the join method and we want to join all the characters without any space. That's why you have an empty space as the argument, meaning that the characters are going to be joined together in a single string. So that's pretty much the whole algorithm. We don't need to return anything. So I'm going to run this. We've passed the two sample test cases. So let's submit this code. We have only four test cases and we've passed all of them. So that's it. We didn't have to add the finally keyword here. We simply use try and cache. But you guys can feel free to implement this however you like. Just make sure that you pass all the four test cases. And also, if you like my solution, please subscribe to my channel and I'll catch you next time.